Hey everybody, the jailbreak for the 3.0 firmware is out. <coughs> and you can do this for the Mac and the PC, the Windows computer. And right now I'm on the Dev Team blog, and they have some information on this. For the Windows computers, there is Red Snow. And uh, for the Mac, there is Ponage Tool. Alright, and Ponage Tool just requires you to create your own uh, .ipsw firmware and then restore with that by shift clicking. And for Red Snow, all you have to do is connect with iTunes and then run Red Snow. And then it will jailbreak and lock and whatever. Ponage Tool, uh, only works with uh, the iPhone 1G first generation iPhone, iPhone 3G, and uh, the iPod Touch 1G. However, the second iPod Touch does not work. With the Red Snow, it works for the iPhone the first generation and the iPhone 3, 3G as well as the iPod Touch first and second generation and Red Snow is available for Windows and Mac so before you do anything always go to this website and read it over because they have some rules and it's always good to know what you're doing but for now I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iPod Touch first generation for my uh, Windows computer. So down here they have some mirrors we can download from. And I'm just going to pick one. And then this will come up. And it's a zip file. and you can just save it on your desktop and let's see it's only 10 megabytes okay once it's saved open up the folder and then you have to extract the second folder because I'm on Windows and then extract to and then just click and then I'll just go to the desktop and then it'll do its thing now that you have it you should have this folder right there open that up and then you should have this red snow and these are just the licenses and whatnot and red snow dot exe and with your iPod connected and iTunes open and you can go ahead and start. Now, you will need the 3.0 firmware. So, if you have that saved, browse for it. and then open that up and it takes a lot of process okay that took about a minute and then click next it's patching kernel and then it says what options you would like Cydia and then next Alright, make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer. If not off, plug the device into the computer first, then hold down power button on the edge. So, what we have to do is turn our device off. Power off.
Now that it's off and you're still plugged in, you're ready to the next step. And this can be tricky. You will need to immediately hold down the power button for one second. And then, still holding down the power button, hold the home button for an additional 10 seconds. And after that, release the power button and continue to hold the home button for 30 seconds. So let me show that to you. Alright, next. 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 27, 6, 25. Oh my god, this is it, the end of the world right here, oh my goodness, this is uploading RAM disk. Rebooting and it's done. You can let go now. <laughs> After about two to three minutes, my iPod is rebooting now. and it's being recognized by my computer and there we have it let's take a look there it is Cydia let's just take a look at it now Just make sure that you need you have the you press the right buttons, the power button for three seconds, and then home and power ten seconds, and then let go of the power, and then keep holding the home for thirty seconds. Make sure you do that correctly. Okay, go Kobe Bryant, Lakers championship it did work open city up, up again and then let's see who are you and choose user graphical only <laughs> now it's going to download packages and do its thing Now there you have it, that is how you jailbreak the iPod Touch, first generation, firmware 3.0. This also works for the iPod Touch second generation and the first two iPhones. But it does not work for the new iPhone 3GS. Thank you for viewing, please subscribe, favorite, comment if you have any questions, Just leave me a message and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, also, please visit my blog, iPodTouchedMaster at .blogspot .com.